Welcome back guys to another Android development tutorial. Today we'll be talking about how to create an entrance animation for a recycler view. We'll be creating a simple test application that will look like this. As you can see, we have a recycler view of items that have been animated into the screen. So let's get started. Now, in order to make this tutorial short and sweet, I won't be talking about the entire process of creating the recycler view, which includes the adapter, the recycler view, and the layout. What I will be focusing about is the three required components in order to integrate the layout animation. So let's get started. The first thing will be to go into our REST directory and create an anim folder. We'll create a file, we'll call it items layout animation and the root element will be layout animation. Now we'll make it a close tag and we'll give it some attributes. The first will be a delay. Now the delay function as the delay between each animation. And what it means is when the first animation starts, we'll wait an amount of time until the second and third and so on animation will begin. So if we'll provide 15%, what it, this means is that the first animation will start and once it will be 15% through, the second animation will begin and so on. So the first will be a delay. The second is the animation order. Now the animation order is the order in which each animation occurs for each item in the recycler view. So as you can see, we have three possible states. The first is normal, which means the animation will begin from top to bottom. The reverse means from bottom to top. And random means that the animations will occur randomly. Let's in our use case select normal. The third parameter is the animation itself. Now, we haven't yet created the animation file, so let's do it. Again, we'll go to the anim folder and create a new file, which we'll call enter from top. And the root element will be a set. Now, this will keep as an open tag because we'll have a nested tags later on but for the root element we'll provide one required attribute which is the duration of the animation itself now in here we need to provide a number in milliseconds which means that if we provide 1000 it equals to one second so let's give it 800 a little bit less than one second now in the set tag we'll need to create three other tags the first will be an alpha in order to animate the alpha of each element. We'll start from an alpha of 0 and work our way up to an alpha of 1. So it will be animated from completely invisible to fully visible. The second tag will be a scale. We'll also change the width and height of the view. We'll start for both the x and the Y from 105%, a little bit bigger than the normal width and height of each element. And we'll transition it to 100%, the natural size. We we'll also provide pivot X and pivot Y of 50%. Now the third and last tag will be and translate which will be responsible for moving and changing the position of the element itself we'll start from a y delta of negative 20 percent because we want each element to start a little bit 
to the top of its natural base position. So in this case, we'll give it minus 20%. And the end position will be 0%. Now for each tag that we just created, the alpha, the scale, and the translate, we need to add an interpolator. So let's do it. Android inter polluter android anim anim decelerate interpolluter let's just copy it to all of the tags and that's it we have now completed two steps out of the three required in order to integrate the layout animation the last step will be to attach the layout animation that we just created to the recycle view itself. But before we do that, let's just go back to the items layout animation file and provide the animation itself. Now remember one crucial thing. When we'll attach the layout animation to the recycler view, we are only addressing the layout animation tag itself, this file. We're not addressing the enter from top file directly. So let's go back to the main activity and attach it to the recycler view. Now we can choose two separate ways. The first will be to programmatically attach it to the recycler view instance. Let's see how it's done. Items recycler set layout animation animation utils load layout animation this function requires two parameter a context and the animation itself now this is the first method to do it the second way to do it is through the xml the layout itself so let's go to the activity main layout and to the recycler view tag in here Using the layout animation attribute, we can add a reference to the item's layout animation, and that's equivalent to what we did in the main activity. So it's up to you to choose how you want to do it. In our case, let's do it through the main activity. Okay, so let's run our app and see what happens. As you can see, the items have been animated into the recycler view. Now, if it looked a little bit jammed, it's probably because of my emulator. If you try it on a real device, you will see it's very smooth. Now, that's it for this tutorial. I try to keep it as simple and short as possible. If you like the tutorial, please leave a big thumbs up and a comment, and I'll see you next time.